This next part of the clipping mask is going to show you how to paint on top of a clipping mask. Over in your layers panel on the right hand side of your screen, I'd like for you to close the other folders that we worked on in the previous movie, the cloud clipping mask and the moon clipping mask folders. Twirl open the sun paint on clipping mask layer. And if layer two is not visible, go ahead and turn that on at this time by turning on the eye. Over on the sun, on the left hand side of your screen, you'll see a white halo around the sun rays and in the center of your sun because we turned on layer two. So let's take a look and see how to do this particular clipping mask. <laughs> I'd like for you to go ahead and delete layer two by dragging that to the trash can. And you're going to be left with the original sun. Now, if you will create a new layer by clicking on the create a new layer icon in the lower right hand part of your screen, this is the layer that we're going to be painting on. So let's rename this layer by double clicking in the layer name area. And let's type this, type um, halo. That sounds great. The next thing we'll need to do would be to select a brush. So if you don't have your brush icon selected already, go to your tools panel in the left hand side of your screen and click on the brush tool. From the brush drop down menu at the top of your screen, let's take the hardness and set it to 0%. You can do that by dragging your slider all the way to the left hand side and set the size of your brush to about 100 pixels. To close this box, just click anywhere. The color that I want to do is white. If you don't see white and black displayed in your color swatches area in the lower left hand side of the tools bar, hit the letter D on your keyboard. That resets the colors to the default. So you'll see black on top and white underneath. Now we're going to switch those with another keyboard shortcut, the letter X. So hit the letter X and now you'll see white on top and black behind. Making sure that the halo layer is selected from your layers panel, go back to the sun and click one time in the center. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edges of the rays. So watch this. And this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a demonstration. Good. The last step would be to create the clipping layer. So before we learned about an, a keyboard shortcut of holding down the Alt key and hovering over the dividing line between the two layers. So let's do that. If you can't access this that way, you can always right click on Halo and tell it to perform a clipping mask. So as we look over on the left hand side of our page, now we can see that the sun's rays have that nice white tint at the ends of, ends of them and that white spot is in the center. So this is just one idea about another way to use a clipping mask. I hope you enjoyed it.